What is up YouTube? My name is Terry. Today we'll be looking at four different t-shirts from Sara, which are the colorful lightweight, basic midweight, basic heavyweight, and the premium t-shirt with pockets. I don't remember the last time I shopped at Sara, but I think it was before all this rebranding happening. And I think since then, the prices of the product has gone up a lot. Since Sydney is currently in lockdown and I wanted some new clothes, so I thought maybe I'll give them another go. Okay, before we start, this is just my honest opinions on these products, so please feel free to agree or disagree. Without further ado, let's get started. Since I'm not really familiar with the sizing of Sarah products, I used the Find Your Size feature to decide what I wanted. The recommended size for all my t-shirts are size L, but in fact, they're all in different shapes and sizes. I will cover this in a minute. The first one we're looking at here is the colorful lightweight t-shirt. Fitting is okay, but the length is bit long, I would even put them in the long tee category. Next one we have here is the basic medium mid-weight t-shirt. For some reason this is super tight, I don't know what's going on here. As you can see by the sleeve, the way it wraps around my body, it's just like super tight. Definitely not something that I would like to wear, or I would ever wear it out. I think they put the wrong size label when they were manufacturing it, because I checked the size guide. The measurement seems to be closer to size S rather than L. The third one we have is the basic heavyweight t-shirt. As you all know, I like oversized fitting and the sleeve is just a bit short for my liking. I would definitely have gone XL or bigger if I was trying these in store. The last one we have here is the premium t-shirt with pocket. Again, they come in smaller than I expected. On their website, the sleeve seems to be longer as it goes all the way to the elbow, whereas mine is a bit shorter than that. In terms of quality in general, I say they are just not as good as maybe like let's say Uniqlo shirts. Starting with the colorful lightweight t-shirt, just like the name suggested, they are super lightweight. I would even call them like featherweight, like paperweight or like anything thinner than lightweight because it's like just super thin, super lightweight. Like you can easily see through these. Definitely be great for summer, don't get me wrong, but I think they look a bit too fragile. I don't think they will even last the whole summer season. Next one is the basic medium weight. It's still really thin. I say the thickness of the shirt will be on par with the Uniqlo Suprema t-shirt, though the material doesn't feel as good. Definitely not as comfortable as them. For the basic heavyweight, they had a lot more volume to it. It's a lot thicker and sturdier than the previous two. This is the sort of thickness that I would like for my t-shirt. It is the best out of the three so far something that I would actually consider buying. The last one, premium t-shirt with pocket, has the best quality, hence the name premium. It feels a bit more smooth and silky on the texture, and the thickness is around the same as the basic heavyweight. It has a nice round neckline, which is a bit tighter than the basic heavyweight. However, it seems to be a bit stretched already before I even try them on. Not a good sign if you're looking for something that's durable. In my opinion, the prices of these are quite high even when they're on sale price. I'll put all the prices on the screen here. Like after trying them on, I don't think they're worth the price, at least in my opinion. Definitely not for the full price retail. And that was it guys, I think the basic heavyweight and the premium t-shirt are something that worth considering, but I wouldn't even look at the other two but that's just me and I don't think the price point is reasonable for this kind of quality t-shirts I also bought a bunch of other Sarah products which I might cover in another video just a bit disappointed in general as I found their products seem to be a lot nicer after the rebrand if you like this video please give it a thumbs up share it with your friends subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell button so you won't miss my new update I make videos on men's fashion and sneakers. And as always, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace.